November is National Native American Heritage Month. This video highlights five amazing books that honor Native American authors, stories, and experiences. All materials featured today can be checked out either physically or digitally from the Ocean County Library. Enjoy! Heart Berries is a powerful memoir written by Teresa Marie Malehout. Malehout grew up in a dysfunctional family at the Seabird Island Indian Reservation in the Pacific Northwest. Her memoir paints a picture of the trauma she faced in her childhood that led her to develop post-traumatic stress and bipolar II disorders. Malehout writes openly and honestly about her tough upbringing, and in doing so, it helps her gain a connection to her family, her indigenous roots, and her place within the world. You can find Heartberries at your local Ocean County Library branch or get it today in ebook or audiobook on Libby, Overdrive, and Hoopla. Joy Haro, first Native American poet laureate of the United States, provides readers with a powerful collection of poetry in An American Sunrise, a national bestseller. In the early 1800s, the Muscogee people were forcibly removed from their original lands east of the Mississippi to Indian Territory, which is now part of Oklahoma. 200 years later, Joy Haro returns to her family's lands and opens a dialogue with history. The Washington Post notes that An American Sunrise is full of celebration, crisis, brokenness, and healing, with poems that rely on lyric techniques like repetition, avoidance of temporal specifics, and the urge to speak collectively. You can check out An American Sunrise physically from the Ocean County Library and digitally on Hoopla, Overdrive, and Libby. Come Home Indio is a graphic novel memoir written by Jim Terry. Jim's mother comes from the Ho-Chunk Nation of Wisconsin, while his father was an Irish-American jazz artist from Chicago. Jim writes honestly of his struggles growing up, trying to bridge the gap between his native roots and attending school in the suburbs of Chicago. Jim turns to alcohol later in life as a way to cope and tells his story of getting sober as well as his impactful time at Standing Rock for the Dakota Pipeline Resistance. Jim's illustrations and writings are both haunting and raw, mixed with bursts of joy and beauty. Check out Come Home Indio today. Joy Haro explains that, for my signature project as the 23rd Poet Laureate Consultant in Poetry, I conceived the idea of mapping the U.S. with Native Nations poets and poems. Living Nations, Living Words is an anthology of First Peoples poetry which features poets such as Natalie Diaz, Ray Young Bear, Craig Santos Perez, and many more. Each poem showcases, as Joy Haro writes in her stirring introduction, that heritage is a living thing, and there can be no heritage without land and the relationships that outline our kinship. You can check out Living Nations, Living Words, an anthology of First Peoples poetry at the Ocean County Library. Braiding Sweetgrass is a New York Times bestseller written by Robin Wall Kimmerer, an enrolled member of the Citizen Potawatomi Nation and professor of environmental biology at the State University of New York. Kimmerer writes to encourage people to pay attention to plants using both Western philosophy and indigenous teachings, writing that plants and animals are our oldest teachers. After reading the book, Readers will feel a close connection to nature and its ability to heal both physically and mentally. Check out Braiding Sweetgrass today at your local Ocean County Library branch or get it today in ebook or audiobook form on Libby, Overdrive, and Hoopla. Thank you for watching National Native American Heritage Month Reads. Check out Ocean County Library book talks, programs, and more at theoceancountylibrary.org. We'll see you next time. Support public libraries. Like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.